After the funeral, when he saw her preparing to go away, he was seized with an unreasoning dread of being left alone on the farm, and before he knew what he was doing, he had asked her to stay with him. He had often thought since that it would not have happened if his mother had died in the spring instead of the winter. Goodbye, Zena. Goodbye, Ethan. Some stories are just too true to tell, but the plight of Ethan Frome is one that must be recalled in its entirety. Looks like it'll snow soon. Yeah! Ethan, yeah. Ethan, what does Zena say? You needn't know. I'll go to town tomorrow. I'll go to Chad Falls if I have to. Maddie, come sit by the fire. I, I should, I should go to bed. Ethan. Yes? The doctors told me that I need an operation. Are you sure the doctor's right? He comes very highly recommended. He's also said that I shouldn't be on my feet more than I have to. I've hired a new girl. Where will she stay? In Maddie's room. What will Maddie do? I don't know, but she won't be our problem anymore. She did nothing wrong. Ethan, what's going on? Nothing. Is it something with the food? Zena's hiding your girl. What? Am, am, where am I supposed to go? It'll be okay, Maddie. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let's go coasting. One last time. I could have hit that tree, you know. It would be better if we had. It's better than being apart. What are you saying? I think we should hit the tree. I'll do anything. No, wait. Let me sit in front this time. Look at his We never, never got, got away. away. How, How should you? Unfortunately, the accident caused Maddie to be paralyzed from the neck down and Ethan to have a permanent limp. Zena recovered from her illness enough to care for her the bedridden girl and her ailing husband. <laughs>